Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, it's a little late tonight, guys. It's uh, 6.30 in, um, it's 6.30 at night here on Saturday evening. I did not think I was going to receive this piece until God knows when. But uh, my wife was just looking on her phone not that long ago and she said, did you order a bear and son knife or something of that effect? And I said, yeah. And she said, well, it said that it was delivered today. And I said, impossible because I was at the mailbox at like 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't think we had mail. There was nothing in there. Uh, she says, well, it's stating here that the mail was delivered at 2 o'clock. And I was like, are you kidding me? She's like, it's probably in there. So, lo and behold, don't you know I took that walk down to the mailbox and there she was? Holy smokes. Thank the heavens of love. Oh, man, guys, I'll tell you. With this virus that's going around, it is killing, well, for me anyway, it is just messing up my program as far as ordering stuff. But saying that, there are other things to be worried about than receiving a knife, okay? There's people out there suffering in this world, and I'm worried about a knife coming through the mail. That's very selfish, so anyway, saying that, guys, I got my knife. I ordered this Bear and Sons knife. I was on, um, the other night, I was on the, uh, um, surfing, um, and I can't even talk. I'm looking at this bone, man. God darn, they call it a red, they call it a red jig bone. Um, anyway, I was on, um, eBay surfing Barlow knives because I don't really have any Barlow knives. I think I got, I think I got like three or four Barlows. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to up my Barlow game. But, um, so I came across this guy right here. I was like, Baron Son. I was like, are you serious right now? And it said, USA made, 1095 carbon steel and all this other stuff. And I was looking at the images and the pictures and I was like, oh, dude, that's got to come home with me. 50 bucks, okay, 50 bucks. Just take a look. It says fourth generation carbon. You're not going to be able to see that because I could barely see it. Um, I still have to do my cleaning on it. But uh, let's show you what it looks like here. Very, very impressive knife. Um, there's the clip on it. You know, it does have a rub here. Or that's some of the carbon just uh, taking a patina. I might uh, patina this one, guys. It looks like a piece of patina. It looks like a, a patina spot there, I think. That's, I don't think it's a rub mark. But anyway, this is... Um, now, Baron Sun has a lot of different um, Barlows and, and everything. And what I like about that... They're all USA made, man. They are all USA made. Not just like, I was like, no way, you know. Um, I was going to go ahead, and I still probably will. I'll probably get a couple case knives as well. Barlow case knives. But look, I mean, just look at that bone. I mean, you can't get bone like that on a case knife, guys. A Barlow. You can't, man. That, that that bone just impressed the ever-living daylights out of me. But, um, yeah, it says USA, USA there. There it is right there. Bada-bing. USA. And on this side, it says Baron Sons. But I am just digging the ever-loving daylights out of it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Um... I, if, guys, it's coming in at 50 bucks. I mean, 
if you're a traditional guy, there's just no compat. I mean, there's no check out their uh, Baron Sun lineup. I'm gonna go through and um, there's a couple more that are just beautiful. I might pick up a couple more. Look at this blade, how it's canted. See that blade? It's got a canted blade on it. It swoops down. See it when you're holding it? It's got that downward, that downward angle on it. Just a great. So when you're cutting, it's just, oh man, it's got that. It's just a good piece. I don't know, guys. This is my first impressions. I just got this puppy out of the mailbox. It's like uh, 6.30 at night over here. Luckily, my wife told me there was something in the mailbox. Um, yeah, it would have been waiting all weekend because I wouldn't have went out there tomorrow because, uh, oh, yeah, it's got half stops. It's got half stops on it. Now, the half stops aren't as great as they could be, but I know that I could make them better than what they are. I got to flush everything. Now, that's where this comes in at. This stuff right here. You flush the pivot with this stuff, and I'll guarantee that that action gets improves greatly. But um, there it is, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a look at this. Um, what do you think? What do you think about that bone? Isn't it beautiful? See it right there. It says carbon fourth generation whatever that means fourth generation of this knife i don't know it's a carbon blade which i love carbon i might uh force to patina it on this one coming in at 50 bucks and um guys please let me know what you think about this i am just loving this man so i'm gonna up my uh barlow game and uh, try and get my Barlow game uh, back intact again. I'm all over the place right now, guys. Fit and finish is dynamite on it. See, I got to slow down with, with uh, this is what happened before. Um, I get all over the place with my purchases. And um, that's no good. I got to stick with, I got to stick with one thing. So there it is, guys. That's the Baron Sons. Um, it comes in. Let me show you here. There you go. It comes in this uh, little box here. You can see it right there. USA, baby boys and girls. We always like to see that. So Baron Son box, so just like that. And. Um, I'd appreciate it, guys. Um, now, I made a purchase. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. I made a purchase from Smoky Mountain Life Works. Don't say nothing, guys. It's a surprise. I can't tell you it's a vintage. Well, it's a vintage to me, a vintage Spider Co. <laughs> See? You talk about being all over the place. I order a Barlow, a traditional like this, and one extreme to the next. Now, what do I do? I order a Spider Co. Oh, man. But it's a good one, guys. I think that you are really going to dig it. There's a couple people that already viewed it. Now, I've been looking at that knife for years and years and years and never pulled the trigger on it. Never pulled the trigger on it. And I'll tell you why when I get it. Um, there was a reason why I didn't buy it. But I said, you know what? I saw the review on it. A couple people had it out. I said, I'm buying it. That's it. Because I love that knife. I just loved it. Anyway, guys, I'm at my minute. I'm at my mark. Please let me know what you think about it. It's a gore. Let me show you this one more time, guys. Just take a just take a look one more time at that piece. Let me zoom in as much as I can. Isn't that just beautiful, that bone? JB, what do you think about that bone, buddy? Yo, Warthog. Give me a shout out, man. What do you think about that bone, buddy? I know you're a Barlow guy. What do you think about this Barlow? I know you're a big time Barlow guy. All right. Anybody else that would like to conversate with me? Um, it'd be well appreciated. All right, then. To the next one.
Couple more days I should have that spider co through, and we'll talk about that one. All right, guys, be careful out there. It's a crazy world. Mask up, wash your hands, use common sense. That's what it bears down to. All right, guys, listen, take care of yourselves, and uh, yeah, we'll be talking to you. I'm trying to get this Barlow collection to where Warthog's is. Warthog's got that, that big, big Barlow collection. I'm trying to catch up to him. All right, Mr. Hog. I'm getting there, buddy. Take care, guys.